Hello everyone, we have learned FreeRTOS API and ESP logging up to now. With this video, I'm starting with Wi-Fi tutorial series. As we mentioned before, ESP32 has own Wi-Fi ability. Then, we can scan Wi-Fi access points, connect to an access point, or create an access point. Before starting, let's start with general information about Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connection is the most common connection type for IoT applications. We can think Wi-Fi devices as access point or station. A Wi-Fi device works as access point and creates a network, and stations connect this network. So, our mobile phones, computers works as station. On this video, I'll start with access point scanning. Let's start the machine. I'm starting from the template project that I published. Let's add necessary libraries for this example. Let's add event loop library. This library is used to initialize Wi-Fi event handler. On ESP framework, Wi-Fi works with handlers like connect handler, disconnect handler, etc. And of course, I'm adding ESP Wi-Fi library and flash library. This library also needed for initialize handlers of Wi-Fi. Then, we are ready for starting scanning example. I would like to scan access points with infinite loop. Then, let's create a scan function. Firstly, let's create a Wi-Fi scan struct and define its name as scan-config. On ESP IDF, we can create a scan-config and write scanned value to this struct. There are some characters on this struct. Let's define this. SSID is the name of the network. BSSID is the MAC address of X point. Channel is which channel the broadcast is on. What is channel? As we know, Wi-Fi works at 2.4 MHz and channels comes from frequency of the broadcast. As you can see, Wi-Fi channels start from 1 to 14. On many countries, Wi-Fi channels are used from channel 1 to channel 11. You can search it on internet if you want to find out how much in which country. Let's continue with the last character. This is show hidden. If we write true to this config, ESP will write hidden networks on the terminal. If we write false to this config, ESP will not write hidden networks. Let's write true for now. And let's start scanning. ESP Wi-Fi scan start function starts the scanning. It has two parameters. The first one is where the data will be stored. So let's write our scan config with ampersand. And the second parameter is bool block. Let's write true. So scan is completed. Now we can create an array and write scan values to it. Firstly, let's define an integer. I wrote uint8 because its limit is 255 and it's enough for how much network will found on scan. And there's a special strike on ESP IDF to get scanned value. Wi-Fi access points the record and let's give its name as AP records and define its size as 20. This is the maximum network code that will be stored. 
you can increase its size if you want. And let's write scant value to this array and write network count to apnum. Also, there is a useful check function on ESPIDF, which is ESP error check. What is this? If you search ESPIDF documentation, you can see functions returns ESP OK if there is not a problem and processor continue the process. But if it has a problem, we can see the reason of this error on the terminal and ESP get reset. So I'll add this feature to our functions. Then let's start print the scanned value to console. Firstly, I'll write how much access points were found. Then let's write titles of values. Name of the network. Channel of the network. RSSI of the network. RSSI got the approximate distance from our device to access point. And lastly, we will write MAC address of the access point. Then let's create a for loop to write values. And of course, its size will AP num. For SSID, we will use percent %s. For channel, percent %d. For RSSI, percent %d. For Mac, percent %x with 6 character. X is used for hexadecimal values. Then, let's write our variables from array. AP records SSID, RSSI and MAC address. For MAC address, we should write asterisk. The first value of MAC will be write to be SSI and the other ones will be write with an order. Let's write them. Then it's enough for writing scanned values. However, I would like to add another thing, which is the size of values. Because the networks have SSID values with different length and it will not seem good on the console. So let's define its size to see it nice. For SSID, let's define 30. For channel, let's define 7. For RSSI, 4. And XR will have 2 characters. Then our scan function is ready to use. Let's jump to app main and make some initialization for Wi Fi. Firstly, I initialize normal light flash and TCP in it. And Wi Fi in it with default configuration. Then I'll add Wi Fi init function with default parameter. Then, lastly, I'll write ESP Wi Fi start function. This is enables Wi Fi feature. And I'll call scan function on the while loop. We are ready to see the access points near our device. Let's compile and flash it. Finally, we got scan response on the terminal. As we can see, ESP scanned access points and wrote their values. ESP can see access points up to 90 RSSI and sorting by distance. This is how we use Wi-Fi scan. On the next video, I'll explain how to connect an access point, how to create a network or use both of them. That's all I am going to talk about today. Stay motivated and subscribe me.
Let's control the controllers together.